Right, good morning everybody. Back up the shoot this morning. Come up to uh, check the ducks. See how they're getting on. Obviously my colleague looks after them during the week, so I come up here on Saturdays. And uh, go around and check everything. Oh, see them there. Got a roe deer there. Oh, well, there you go, cut a row there. Out in the last bit of sun of the morning. Before they go and lay up for the day. Yeah, they've gone into the wood there somewhere. That's why we do a little bit of squirrel shooting in there. So At the moment, it's just too many leaves on the trees, as you can see. So there's no point in going in there at the minute. But the old leaves are starting to turn now. Autumn's on its way. So it won't be long. Oh, those are pheasant there. I don't think to see it down there. An old cockbird there, he's just on the edge of the wood. It's gone in now. So this year we haven't put any pheasants down at all, so we we'll just hopefully draw a few wild ones in and some birds from the neighbouring shoot as well. A nice little jay there as well, flying about. Yeah, nice morning, be out and about. Oh, there's that cockbird, it's just in there. Just in that little clear in there. Day. Obviously it's already October, you know, so shooting season has started, a lot of people have already started. But we're not going to start till about, I think it's about the first weekend of November, I think. See how the old ducks are getting on. They've been down there for a week. Not myself, anyway. I've got the uh, off road tyres on here now on this new car, this old RAV. So, I'll show you in a minute. We park up down here. Let's see what it goes like down here, eh? Obviously, it hasn't got the same ground clearance as the old lander over, but it should be alright to get around this little chute. Cracking away there. Yeah. Right, let's go and have a little look. Yeah, they seem to be flying, they're already used up. Some of the best duck we've had, really. Well, that's what they're under. <laughs> they know as soon as a vehicle pulls up, they're going to get some food. So and we've got an automatic feeder. My colleague was saying it's not working properly, so I don't know if the um, battery's gone flat in there or not. No, it's still on. I don't know unless it's got bunged up in there. Sometimes, no, it looks like it's bunged up, I reckon. Yeah, it's probably got some, some muck in there. You can see there's no wheat or anything in there, so, so I bet it's a bit of debris and it's blocked it up. Right, okay, we'll have a look at that in a minute so we can clear it out. Right, okay, we'll get some uh, wheat and we'll put it along the edge here, we'll give them a feed. Right, let's put a bit of wheat out for them. Ugh, sticky old stuff, we'll leave him running about on here. It's 
absolutely lively, isn't they? <laughs> they say they're flying, so some of them. Good old sticky old stuff. It's pretty well he's on there. Right, just grab another bucket full. All right, up there already. Yeah, normally we're going to two bucket fulls. Plus the spinner, but obviously the spinner's um, not working at the minute. <sighs> Look at that, man. more. Hopefully that's slipping and falling in all the mud. <coughs> right, there we go. <laughs> Certainly hungry, isn't they? Yeah. Uh, See the old drakes are coming out on them now, see the colours now. I mean, they've been like that for a week or two now, anyway. Uh, it looks like there's an old drake over there, well, probably one of the original ones that were here before. So some of them are still left over. I think there's a, might have been half a dozen maybe left from last time. Yeah, nice one. Right, that's um, fed now, what are we doing? I'm going to have a look at this spinner now, so we can unclog it. Yeah, there's like a big lump of rubbish in there. They've got jammed up and stopping all the wheat from falling through. Seems to be right now though. Yeah, it seems to be freer now. So it takes like a little bit of muck or dirt or debris to get in there. And obviously it stops all the wheat from getting through. Anyway, it's clear now. So what I do now, I set the battery back up in the timer. And uh, we'll give it a bit of a test run, make sure it all works all right. All right, let's get the old battery in there. I won't film this bit because it takes a bit of time to set it all up, so I'll come back to it in a minute when we've got to give it a bit of a test run. Right, that's all the timer's set up. Right, let's give it a test now. Right, let's get back. <laughs> so it does throw it out a little bit. Right. Also got a horn on it as well, so like a cooler. <coughs> there we go. I sorted that little problem out. Lovely. Right, there we go. Excellent stuff. Right, that's that set up. Look at that, they've eaten all that lot already. Didn't take long, did it? Well, there's a lot of them. They need the food. Right, okay, that's that set up now. Right, okay. Off up to the other part of the chute now. I'll catch up with you up there. Right, here we are back up the other end now. Don't know if you'll be able to see that lot. The sun's right in the eyes, really. There's a few Egyptian geese over there, but the sun's in the wrong place, I think. <sighs> Looking well. Right, yeah, what we've been doing, we've been clearing the island over here, cutting all the branches back. <clears throat> Just try and open it up a bit. That hasn't been done for a long, long time. Right, okay guys, we're gonna do a bit more cutting.
Right, there we go guys, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Yeah, what we've done last week, we cut all the branches off on that island. These are all in the water out here. And we've done the same with this part here as well. It's all hanging over. So what's happening was, we're trying to get the ducks in here to push them up that little channel that runs to that side where the um, truck is. A lot of ducks were coming up, getting underneath all the branches that were in the water. And it was a hell of a job to get them out and then trying to push them back around the corner. So what we've done, we've cut all the low branches off it in the water just so they can't hide underneath them anymore. So, yeah, should make it a lot easier on shoot days anyway. Yeah, my mate up there in his little digger. One of his favourite jobs, I think. He'd be on there all day if he'd let him. <laughs> He loves his tractors and diggers and things. So, yeah. Right, so that's another little job done. We saw seeing him, I think it's about three weeks' time we're going to start shooting. So, we just haven't had time to, to do this all year. We've been busy doing other jobs. But, right, there we go. That's that little job done.